Hello fish keepers and welcome to Royal Fish Aquatic. So at that time of year, spring summertime is here now and everybody's going to start doing the outdoor tubbing or backyard fish farm, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I am going to start my whole backyard fish farm. I'm going to show you guys how to build a small little fish farm in your backyard and be able to breed successfully and be able to make profit. So if you want to learn how to make your own small little backyard fish farm or summer, summer tubbing or anything like that, if you want to take advantage of the good weather outside, hey, stay tuned because we're going to start doing that right now. So this is the container using the Rubbermaid Outdoor um, Tough Stuff. It's actually the Tough Stuff and this is used for cattle and everything. So we are going to use it for our fish farm. So let's start setting this up. So everybody, I got the container filled up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to let it sit for a few days and then I'm going to add the guppy grass in there. And I'll start adding fish pretty much what I want to do is right here in the back piece of my property add a row of these um, I'm hoping I could do between six to ten but we'll see so let this sit for a few days and we'll get back to it so everybody these are gonna be the sword tails that we're gonna be putting inside our DIY breeder basket outside and we're gonna start breeding these guys I'm going to start with just two trios, you see those two nice males in there, and then we got four female, and I think this is going to be a pretty good, um, pretty good start to start a nice colony of these Santa Claus Swordtails, or the other name is the Kuhaku Swordtails. So let's get out back and let's start getting them in their container. All right guys, well, this has been sitting now for a few days and what we're going to do now is actually start adding the sword tails in here. But before we add the sword tails, we're gonna start doing the breeder basket and guppy grass. So I actually have a small bucket of guppy grass. I'm gonna put some on the outside and some in the breeder basket. And like I showed you, we have the sword tails ready, but we gotta get the breeder basket in there. Now, if you want to know how I build this DIY breeder basket, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell. And I have a video coming out step by step on how to breed a, how to set up this breeder basket. The only new thing that I did to it from that video is I added the pool noodles for it to float now because I have it ready. Um, this breeder basket is going to work because the babies will be able to leave the breeder basket and not get, not get eaten by the parents. All you have to do is put it in. Now this gives your fish a footprint of 10 gallons for 6 fish which is perfect for them to breed. But they have 110 gallons in total in water. So now that we got that in there, the next step we want to do we want to add our guppy grass. So I'm going to add a little bit inside the basket just for the fish to feel secure and they could drop babies. But the rest of it, I'm going to drop it out here because I want that to keep reproducing and keep growing and give me a lot more guppy grass. It builds infusoria for the fry to eat and hiding spaces. So now that you have that, it's very simple. Last, quite not the last step, but the last step almost is add your fish. So they have been acclimating here. I just pulled them out for a second for the video. What I'm gonna do now is actually release them in their container. So there you go. Now what I'm gonna go get is the final, final step for your sword tails not to jump out no birds or frogs to get in and I'm gonna put bird net around it 
So let me go get my bird net and stay tuned. So this is my bird net. You can buy this at any Home Depot or Lowe's. It comes in big rolls like this. So all I'm gonna do is roll it out over my container because I have used this before. I already have nails screwed onto it. So you're just gonna stretch it out and I'm gonna lock it into the nails. So um, while I do this, let's play some music and you guys check me out putting on the bird net. simple put the bird net in here this is going to stop birds from coming in any other critters from coming in but small bugs can still come in here and the fish can still feed off that the sticks help it for the wind and frogs these frogs don't try to push and that's why I double layered it in the roll it comes folded in half you rolled it out I like using the double layer and everything because it just gives it more protection more security so guys, again, you want to learn about the breeder basket, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to show you how it looks from the top real quick. And that is all. You got your first container for your fish farm set up. So you see, guys, it don't have to be the most prettiest thing in the world. It just got to work for you. And that's all we're looking for. They're in there. They're hiding already in there. See them? So guys, like always, don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. And you guys have a blessed day.